white truck frightens a red squirrel, who wasn't even close to being crushed. It scampers across the dirt parking lot, while the weight of my chin rests on the family gathering of bones in my wrist. My eyes shift their lenses and see clearly a crackle of tiny black squares, the big screen shifting my view, and I realize that I never knew my grandpa. He died nearly two decades before I was born. I never stopped to think that he made me a poet. Perhaps he hid his poetry in his golf swing. What poet wants to live on a factory line? The clanking metal and humming belts must have built countless poems in his soul. Green fairways were his hooch until he sunk two holes in one, then died a month later, swinging for his third. How many fewer practice swings would he have taken, and more poems written, had he not traded his time with his grandchildren for a paycheck? Perhaps I'd not watch a middle-aged man scare a tiny squirrel, and for the first time miss someone that I'd never even met. <laughs>